What's going on YouTube? What's up my brothers? So uh, this video is going to have a whole bunch of different clips in it of uh, some different stuff. I'm going to talk a little safety issues. Uh, I'm going to talk Band of Brothers. I'm going to talk Night Nation. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the inside of my truck. And uh, right now, we're going to go wake up uh, one of our brothers, Robert, who's another Reno driver. And uh, he's asleep right beside me. It's 6.30 in the morning. Uh, we're in Barstow, California. It's time to go. So we got to wake him up. So here's Robert's truck. So you can find it. Here's the early Reno. That's what we do. Let's see. He's got it locked. I have a key. Let's see if he answers to a knock. Hold on. Let's go! Alright, I'm gonna get my key, goddammit. Open the door! YouTube, say good morning to Robert. Oh, fuck. It's a little dark in here, but he's back there. You there he is. That shit on YouTube. Oh, this shit's going on YouTube. There he is. So, say good morning to your wife and everyone else that watches my YouTube channel. There we get it in focus. There he is. Look at that pretty face. All early in the morning, waking him up. That's how. That's how the family does it. You know, we help each other. Make sure you're awake on time, even if it is an hour early. Yeah. We make sure you're awake. All right. Just chilling. Mm-hmm. Truck drivers dig this shit. We like Capri Suns. You know about some famous Amos doing it big style here, but anyways, we got Mindy hey guys. and Robert. Up, you guys bro? will have to check them out later. They're gonna start a YouTube channel. They're they're married. They both work for night, and they're gonna be running team pretty soon. So make sure you guys check that out. Yeah, got to finish our thirty thousand first, and then uh, then we're teaming it up. We might let you know how it goes. <laughs> we're out here with Scarlett in the background. You know, she's loving it. Yeah. You know, Scarlett. I'll be like sinister for a minute. Look, look at Scarlett. <laughs> Look at Scarlett, look at her. Look at her in the light. She's dirty, she's dirty. But anyways, like talk to you guys later. later. As I was saying earlier, talk a little safety stuff. And it seems like there's been this growing epidemic the last day or two of everybody saying that they're getting forced dispatched and all this kind of shit. Well, it, it really upsets me uh, to hear about it. And uh, we need to put a stop to it. So uh, make sure that if uh, this is happening to you, you're getting a hold of me or Thor or uh, letting your safety guy know and, and getting the information out there so that we can put a stop to it. And uh, I mean, other than that, on the safety side, just be safe. If you're too tired, don't drive, man. Don't drive. Okay? Do not drive. This is how it happens at our terminals, you know? I'm telling you. Killing it at night. Hello. Okay, so for the next portion of this video, I'm going to show you guys the inside of my truck. Now, uh, not all trucks at night come with a uh, guitar player, but I got one. I got a guitar player, see? You know. So anyways, let's show you the inside of the truck real quick. So as you guys know, I got a 2015 Pro Star. And, uh, yeah. You guys do not have a guitar player. I do. So anyways, 2015 Pro Star. There you go, there's the front seat. We got a steering wheel cover. You know how I do it. But uh, got that Rand McNally. All right. We got the Cobra 29 right there. I don't really know why you guys always like seeing this stuff, but I mean, we all do it about the same. But uh, I will tell you one thing that you need in your truck is this right here. See that? Automatic air freshener. Goes off every couple minutes and you can steal that idea because I want your truck to smell good. I stole that idea from my trainer, Mr. Daniel Bird. He's a, a Reno driver. You see him out there. 182138 is his truck number. Find that dude. Say what's up. He's a uh, red-haired guy. He always looks mad, but he's really not mad. 
So, uh, and then we went old school, and I still use the briefcase. Helps keep everything organized, so as you guys can see that, we got the briefcase going on. Now what everyone else wants to see is the back side. Like, I don't got nothing on the top, just, just my duffel bags and stuff, dirty clothes, bag and whatever. But uh, there's the TV, let's see if we can turn that on. We got 32 inch hanging off of there. And then, uh, I didn't get like the DVD combo, this is a TV I just had, so I didn't have to buy one. But So we got the DVD player run to that, off the little uh, 300 water right there. And uh, we were watching uh, little Daniel Tosh earlier. But uh, we got the double mattresses. And then, uh, you know, just normal storage. This is, whoa, that's gonna fall out of there. Oh man, I almost fell down. I knew I heard something earlier. But you know, you gotta have the goobers, dude. Gotta have the goobers. Everybody needs goobers. So, but yeah, it's just storage. You can't see nothing, but there's food, food in there. And then, uh, I'm a big Braves fan. So there you go. And, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, this is how floor should look. See that? Clean floor. Clean floor. Mm -hmm.